Shalom, who praises the Yahweh, Bar Shem El Shai, Bar Shem Al Rakak, with us. Double orders unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, and Shalom to the whole four elect. This is Paya Allah. The title of this video is in, is Salvation is for Israel. Okay, so I got a few precepts I want to delve into. Because really, when you deal with this, the Bible as a whole. It's a, it's a book that contains the the law, statutes, and commandments, the writings, as in the history, and the prophets, the prophecy, things that happen. Now, all this book pertains to the children of Israel, all right? It's that they, they are the focal point of the whole of the Bible. More so as well, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, which is the Heavenly Father's word, all right, which, you know, as it said, you know, lo, I come in the volume of, of the book, it is written of me. The whole book really pertains to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. Now, with that being the case, salvation is only for the ch children of Israel, all right, the Lord's people. And in its current state, of the world, they're in a great damnation, right? We look down the nose at, no one regards us, no one rates us, no one takes us seriously. We're their byword, their proverb. Um, basically, we, we ain't, you know, we're nobodies in this world, all right? And um, that is a, a great damnation, all right? We're living in hell, okay? So in living in a hell, we need salvation. We need a we need an out, and the only out we have is our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. Uh, through the through his, through his name, His mediation, we if we be of the elect, Lord willing, which we hope to be at that number, then we we're ordained to be blessed on this side, and have no part in that of the second death, but. Only the whole of the nation of Israel will be included in that salvation, all right. But they'll have to go through the literal fire as opposed to the the furnace of afflict the fire, you know, or the furnace of affliction. So, so I got a couple of scriptures. I'm gonna get right into them. Lord, will you be edified? Says so the Book of Amos three and one. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Right. So this word is spoken against the children of Israel. This word pertains to the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the various in the various of the land of Israel scattered abroad against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth; therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities." Right. So the heavenly Father has only known us. And that's why we're being punished in the fashion that we are being punished. All right. And people will think, oh, yeah, you see, you're, you're nobody's. No one cares about you. There's no God in heaven that cares about you. But no, he cares. And that's why he's punishing us. He's setting us a right. All right. Preparing us for the kingdom. All right. So that we have full understanding of good and evil. And when we receive the blessings as in before, we don't wax fat and kick. Because the blessings we stand to obtain basically are of a greater magnitude, all right? And it's necessary that we make our bodies a living sacrifice to be partakers of that blessing, all right? So let's, let's build upon this. This example, all right? So there's the book of Matthew 1 and 18. Now the birth of Yahweh Shai Mashiach was on this wise. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, all right, engaged with Joseph, before they came together, all right, because they were engaged, they were going to get married, she was found with, ch with child of the Holy Spirit. Now, we know that, as Yahweh Shai said in the latter part of this book, he said, Handle me for, for spirit, I have not flesh and bone, all right? So there is no seed that the Holy Spirit can put inside her, but the child that was within her womb. Is that of the whole has the Holy Spirit on it on him being Yahweh Shai. Alright. Then Yahweh Sup or Joseph, sorry, her husband, being a just a just man, 
and not willing to make her a public example was minded to put her away privately. So he didn't want to become, a, you know, didn't want to make her an example, you know. The laughing stock took her to town. So he, he was mindful that he said, look, I'm going to hide you because you're basically going to show you're pregnant prior to um, us being brought together and, you know, in the, in the bride's chamber, you know, in the groom, you know, where they basically have the token and so on and so forth. Verse 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just, uh, verse 20. But while he fought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived, right, being the seed, being held within a womb, in her is of the Holy Spirit. Right? This is something that's ordained by the Spirit to happen, sanctified. And she shall bring forth a son, right? And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. He deliverer. All right, that's what it means. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means deliverer or savior. And it goes on to break it down by saying, For he shall save his people from their sins. All right. And that's basically what's going to happen. That's what the Lord is being sent to do. To descend with a shout, destroy America, Esau, Edom. And basically gathering the children of Israel by saying, Come out, of, you know, hearing the voice, come out of her, my people. In Revelation 18, verse 22. Now, all this was done that it might be fulfilled that was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. All right, God with us, which is going to say, uh, Emmanuel, I forget how to say it in Allah Shalom Kadash, which being interpreted is the Most High with us. All right? So all this was a fulfillment of what the Most High being with the children of Israel by bringing his son to deliver the children of Israel. That's why the Lord said, there's no, that you know, there's no way I am, wow. Um, This is going to be a stretch. Hey, John. No willing. John 14 and 6. I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that's why the Lord said that. Okay? Because he is the mediator. You know, as Paul wrote in his epistles, there's no media, but um, there's one media in Yahweh Shai. So I'll close out with this last scripture. This is the book of Isaiah 45, 16 and 17. Or 17 and 18, Salah, which reads, But Israel, Yasha Allah, right, so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. And this ain't happened, right? This ain't ever happened, right? Because right now we are in this day of captivity, all right? So we haven't been saved unto an everlasting salvation whereby we will, you know, wear in peace, you know, dwelling safely in your Rosh Allah the city of peace ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end we ain't that world without end our world is ended on many occasions the most recent the most opulent time being that of solomon's rulership where he you know yahweh shai in the former life basically you know bugged out and succumbed to the the wiles of the woman all right as a as a fulfillment of prophecy for him to be uh, hit with many straps. Verse 18, For thus saith the Lord Jehovah that created the heavens, the Most High himself that formed the earth and made it, he have established it, he created, not, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. 
Yeah, by the children of Israel, it's made for our sakes. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else. Right? Just as he said also in Jeremiah, the 30th, 30th chapter, when he spoke about Israel, you know, the, <coughs> the things of the earth, how they can't go depart from being, because Israel, if they did, Israel would depart as well. This is something that's going to happen whether Esau likes it or not, the heathen likes it or not. Salvation is for Israel and Israel only. So with that, I pray you're edified to the next one. Say shalom, shalom.